Meghan Markle loses another great opportunity which would have changed her life for good. Closed sources reports that Harry and Meghan are at the verge of losing an opportunity which will eventually change the Sussexes' life for the better. Ari Emanuel happens to be chief of the talent agency WME, which is made up of the Sussexes' friends, Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey, and is said to be the best in the business when it comes to corporate deals and making money. But however, the Sussexes may not be part of this investment. According to Ari Emanuel, this is meant for people with good conducts only and people who are productive as well. Following the Sussexes image in the public, they don't seem to meet these criteria and thus would not be given the opportunity to be part of this great achievement. According to royal sources, the Sussexes were once given an opportunity to take part in this great investment but following their recent activities and irresponsible lifestyle, Ari Emanuel have to remove their names from the beneficiaries and thereby cancelling any deal he must have had with them in the past. According to him, Harry and Meghan are not productive in any way and so should not be part of this. Meanwhile, Taylor Swift is said to have snubbed a personal letter from Meghan Markle, asking her to appear on her podcast, Archetypes. The hitmaker is believed to have received a handwritten note from the Duchess of Sussex. However, according to the Wall Street Journal, the 33-year-old singer did not take up her offer. The publication claims Taylor declined to take part through a representative. Express.co.uk has contacted a spokesperson for Taylor Swift for comment. The aforementioned newspaper went on to discuss Meghan and Prince Harry's careers since relocating to the US. They suggested that Archul employees claimed the company often lacked direction. An insider said that, at times, Harry and Meghan seem surprised by the work required to finish entertainment projects. It added, most potential initiatives, they said, follow a similar route, big idea, subpar execution. Harry, in particular, struggled to land on an idea, the publication added of the couple's Spotify deal. It comes just days after Spotify and Artual Audio announced they would be parting ways in a mutual decision. The former confirmed it was not renewing Archetypes, which ran for 12 episodes from August 2022. It was estimated that the contract was worth £18 million in late 2020. During its run, Meghan spoke to high-profile stars including Serena Williams and Maria Carey. It won the top podcast award at the People's Choice Award in Los Angeles. The Wall Street Journal previously quoted an Archul spokeswoman as saying Meghan is continuing to develop more content for the archetypes audience on another platform. The collapse of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's Spotify deal sparked reports that Meghan was not present for the celebrity one-on-ones, reported the Daily Express US. Bravo executive and podcast guest Andy Cohen told US Weekly, of course, I spoke with Meghan, and she definitely interviewed me. That's an insane rumor.